Well, the City of Mobile back on board with Amtrak. Today, the City Council voted almost unanimously to approve funding for the return of rail service to the Gulf Coast. Now the City will commit to putting $3 million toward the Rail Commission's plan. NBC 15's Justin Moore was at the meeting today. Well, Justin, this decision puts the plan back on track. Well, Kim, Greg, this was a big decision, but the reality is uh, there is a lot more work needs to be done, and it's going to be a while before Amtrak comes rolling into town. Sabrina Mass says she'll be the first on board Amtrak once it rolls into Mobile. It's a comfortable ride. It's, it's you know, cost efficient. The Texas native says it will keep her connected with family. Because I have a large family, that would be convenient for us to take the trip to, from, you know, Alabama to New Orleans to Texas and beyond. Today, the Mobile City Council voted 6 to 1 to spend up to $3 million to restore the passenger rail service to Mobile. Joel Daves was the only council member against it, but others share his point of view. You all have greater needs in Mobile than, than an Amtrak train at this point. Mobile wants this service. Amtrak leaders say it will be at least two years before Amtrak returns. Over the next few months, there will be a comprehensive study conducted by Amtrak, CSX, and other rail partners to find out where repairs are needed and how freight and passenger trains can share one track. There's a lot more work to do. As you know, we have to worry about getting the infrastructure money necessary for this to happen. Mobile also needs a train station. Brickley Field is a strong possibility since it will qualify for more federal funding. But only time and a study will tell. In the meantime, Sabrina Mass will be waiting. Amtrak, I love Amtrak. Now, Amtrak plans to have the results to that study ready by the end of this year. Of course, we're going to keep you updated on this story as it develops. For now, live in Mobile, Justin Moore, NBC 15 News.